Uh, hi, are you a Muslim? Welcome to the stage. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Did you uh want to comment on something or? Um, kind of. I kind of pressed it by accident, but yeah, I just don't think it makes a lot of sense that um Jesus can be like God, and that how obviously people have their own beliefs, and we'll find out who's right at the end of the day. But what I'm saying is um. I think, have you read the Quran? Yeah. Okay, that's something at least. Because, um, yeah, that's just my point to be honest. I just don't think it makes sense for a God to be Jesus and then the Father and then the Holy Spirit all in one. But then for you guys to say that you only believe in um, one God. I see. Explain that to or what? What? Should I explain that to Like the whole Trinity thing? Yeah, go on. No. Alright. Uh, Avery, do you want me to? Uh, no, I, uh, I, I don't want to go that angle because um, I don't think that I want to go an Islamic angle. I want to go an Islamic angle. So, um, so you said that it doesn't make sense for Jesus to be God and things of this nature and yada yada, all that kind of stuff, usual stuff. Um, what does it mean for Jesus to be Allah's word? Sorry? You agree that Jesus is Allah's word, correct? So, are you, are you, uh, you, have a lot of, you have a lot of background noise. Is it moving a lot or something? No. no. Okay. But uh, are you familiar with the verse that says that Jesus is Allah's word? Well, I could say that he's, to be honest, I'm going to be very honest. I'm not like a scholar or anything. I don't have a lot of, I just know the simple stuff. But, um, but like I think I'm sure he's just the messenger of Allah and like I wouldn't say he's like he has the power to be like do you know what I mean? He's just the messenger of Allah, which is a lot, okay. but yeah. So so the Quran says not that just he's a messenger. <clears throat> it does say that he's a messenger, and another place it was try to say that he's nothing but a messenger. But it also says oh she disconnected. It also says that he is the word of Allah. His word. Yeah, sorry about that. All good, all good. But yeah, so so the, the Quran verse literally says that Jesus is Allah's word. Not to who? His word. That he sent down or cast down. To Mary, excuse me, in the spirit of him. Like he's the spirit from him. The Hadith says he's the spirit of Allah. So... It sounds like he's much more than a messenger by calling him the actual word of God and the spirit of God. While no other messenger is given these titles. Well, I mean, if he's saying what, like if he's preaching the existence of God, then I mean, what exactly does the, the verse say? Like, So the verse says, you read that out? yeah, sure. So it says here, it's chapter four, verse 171. It says, O people of the scripture, do not exceed in the limits of your religion, nor say of Allah, accept the truth. The Messiah, Isa, son of Mary, was a messenger of Allah and his word and a spirit from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Say not three, cease. It is better for you. For Allah is the only Allah. Glory to him. So when it says that um, God is the only, like Allah is the only like God, obviously, what do you think that means? Does that mean that there's a trinity involved or would you say that's like, you know what I mean? Because to me that's like, it's clear, it's been made very clear throughout the Quran that there's only one God. Right. Yeah, it's mentioned like that in the Bible as well. We're a monotheistic belief, we're not polytheist. Yeah. Yeah, but like the, tr the Trinity is the Trinity is not a is not a polytheistic belief. It's it's mm. a it's a monothe monotheistic belief. We just believe that within the oneness of God there's a plurality of persons. Um,
if you have a problem, like obviously you have a problem with the Trinity, no, the right. Trinity idea, right? Um, so this is why I'm asking you when it comes to this, um, it says that Jesus is Allah's word and his spirit. So how is it that Jesus, who is, a, uh, if you're saying is a creature or just a messenger, is Allah's spirit and his word, yet not a part of him? Well, that's the thing. When you say that there's one God and you say that there's just one, but there's also a spirit attached. And then like, that's what I don't get. Like, how can God exist at two times at once when there's only one? Well, he's, he's, you believe he's infinite and unlike you, right? Yeah. So he, and he's he can't, also one. well, he can in his, in his essence, have a plurality within his own essence. You know, mm. he can be plural within his oneness. But that's the thing, like, how do you think about it when, when, for example, when Jesus was being nailed down on the cross, like, who was, like, who was running the, like, you know what I mean? Who? He never ceased to be father? God just because he came and took on flesh. He has a, he possesses two natures, a divine nature and a human nature. And then, he can't, he, yeah, we don't, we don't put, Jesus, we don't put a limit. Can I ask yeah, you something then, quickly? Yeah, okay. go on. If, can Allah do anything he wants? Yeah. If he wanted to come in flesh, being fully man, fully God, could he? But it's not in his nature. So like, he can't do anything he nature. wants then. Because that doesn't Sorry? be his nature. So he's limited. Mm -hmm. He's Sorry? limited? He's limited that doesn't then? say he's limited. I'm so saying he can't that take, can he, he take could on if he wanted to, to, but it's not his nature. Yes, it's not in that um, God's so, so, nature. So if he killed. created the world and he wanted to be fully man, fully God, he wanted to come and take on flesh, being fully man, fully God, can he do that? That's the thing. He, if he God is can do anything, but like, it's not in his nature. So like he can said, do. He's so God. No, it, it's it's that simple. So can he... yeah, but that's the thing. So like, so what's not... the issue with, with what's the issue with what's the issue with our Godhead? This is the thing I'm saying is that it doesn't make sense for someone who's a God to be killed. But that's you just, just contradicted yourself there because you literally said that if Allah wanted to, he yeah, could. I said yeah because I said that. If he wanted to, obviously God can do anything, but it's not in his nature. I said that. You know what I mean? But is that, wait, are nature. you saying that? Are you saying that for God? Are you saying that for your God? I, I mean, did you make that decision? Nature. That's the thing. I said it's not. How, in do, his you, how do you know that? That's what. That's what. That's what. That's what the, because he's a God. Why would he want to be a person when he created the person? What if he wanted to be fully man, fully God? That's that's what I'm saying. He wasn't. If he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't human flesh. That's what his nature. So, so let, he wasn't so let, human so let, flesh to begin with, though. He let, wasn't let, let, human yeah, let's flesh. Slow, let's slow like, this down a little bit because naturally. I, I like this. So, so sister, hi. You, you you agree that if if Allah wanted to, if he wanted to, he could take on a human nature if he chose to, without ceasing to be God, without ceasing to be Allah, he can be both Allah and man if he chose to, right? That's the thing. Yeah, he could do anything. That's something that everyone knows. Allah can do anything. But okay. I keep saying it's not in his nature because he's a god. He wouldn't become a person and he wouldn't be killed. So you're That's saying, the thing. okay, so what you're saying is what he wouldn't do, not what he could. So he could do this. So he could take on flesh and walk amongst us, die on the cross in the flesh if he wanted to, and raise that same flesh body up if he wanted to. He can do all of that if he wanted to. <clears throat> You're just saying that that's not something that he would do, right? Yeah, because why? Like, why okay, would he? Gotcha. Yeah, so we have a reason of why. I'm, I'm, so I'm glad that now we're at a level where, where now, logically and theologically, we don't have a problem with God, if he wanted to, taking on a human nature without ceasing to be God <sighs> and walking I... amongst us dying on the cross. Now, I... the question is, um... would he or what would be the reason why he would ever do that? Now, according to the scripture, he does that because he is he it's he needs to take on not he but we need him to take to become our representative um, and to take the punishment of sin in our place. So he comes and because of his love for us, represents us and takes on the punishment that we deserve for for being sinful creatures. So that's the why he does it. Now. We, we got that he can. Here's the scripture that says why. So you really don't have a real problem with with the Trinity then. No, the thing is what I have a problem with is the fact that you guys think that 
a god, someone who's as powerful as a god, can come down and be killed by its own creation, you you and just then just someone. But he's alive. He's and not then dead. Someone... He's alive. Wait, 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 let, let her finish. Let and let then, her finish. like, how how did he come back? That's what I'm thinking about. Like, how wait, did he but, come back? Wait, wait, Was so, there another wait, god that brought him wait, back? Wait, wait, so I, hi, hi. Do you believe what 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 do you, what do you think death means? What do you think death is? Um, just death, I guess. Like, do, you, do you believe that death means the cessation of existence? Like you cease to exist? No, I think obviously we're going to be judged. Okay, so when you die, death is the separation of body and soul, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, so when God takes on a human nature and he, and he dies according to that human nature, he just separates himself from the human body. That's all that is. He doesn't yeah. cease to exist. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like, if you're dead, someone has to bring you back. Like when we die, obviously when the world ends and all that, Allah is going to bring us back. Uh, well, do you know who's going to judge you after that? Yeah, Allah. No. Sorry? Isa will. Um, Allah is the one who judges. Well, Isa will judge. It says it in the Quran. Hold on, yeah? Oh, sorry. Is she? <sighs> oh, oh, people are so deceived, bro. I'm, I've been doing this for two years. I just, I don't. So much false hope, literally. So much false hope. You put your, you put your whole life thinking that you'll be saved. Thinking. Yeah, I'm um, sorry, my friend came in. Um, at the end of the day, like, your religion's your religion. Obviously, that's what someone said, like, my religion's my religion. But I don't believe that Prophet will judge us. That's just... Mm. Okay. So, what, so, what are you, so what are you up here for? Do you want to learn about Christianity? No, 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 um, we, we, I mean, we, we know where we're at here. We know where I we're at here. I know the direction that I want to take this. So um, we, we got to the point where High agrees with us that if God wanted to, he has the ability to take on a human nature without ceasing to be Allah, without ceasing to be God, walk amongst us, even die in that flesh and raise that flesh back to life. <laughs> but he so, wouldn't, that thing. Oh, right, if, but okay, where, I, where, do you, where do you get this idea that that's something he wouldn't do? Because he's God. Oh, and like, so God also, can't do that then. Wait, 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 let her, hold on. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> so where, where do you get this idea that God, that's something that God would not do? Where, like, does it say he wouldn't do that in the Quran? What I'm saying is, is that, let's say, obviously God is all knowing. He'll know what's going to happen if he was sent. So why would he go down and then be killed by his creation and be tortured by his creation? Again, so we we gave a reason and a why of why God did that. You're saying that he wouldn't do that. Where are you getting this idea that he wouldn't do that? Aside from just saying like what you personally believe about what God would and would not do, does he tell you, does he reveal to you that this is something he would not do? I mean, the Quran was um, came down to prove all that the scriptures are like the scriptures that came before it are just um, what's it called like tampered with. That's not and, what the Quran I mean, says. That's not what sorry? the Quran says. That's not what the Quran says. I mean, but that's another. That's another thing. That, okay. That's besides the point, sir. But the question is like so: does, does the Quran say, for example, does it say that Allah would never come down and take on flesh, or that He wouldn't? die for our sins and stuff like that does it say this is something he would not do unfortunately i'm not uh, like a half of so i'm not like a hundred percent like i don't i haven't memorized the quran so i couldn't no just bring up any verse right now but like yeah but this is the basis the like, basic basic yeah you but he know wouldn't this, that's the thing he's god why would so, god so so so, so, high. so 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 high. here's the here's Wait, who the, says that he wouldn't right your your quran mm -hmm. does not say that this is something he wouldn't do it doesn't say that so when Muslims say what what God would and would not do, uh, you're at the point where now you're making it up what you think God would. Let's understand this. If you what think we are about saying God. is there are things that God. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. You're like cutting in and out, kind of.
Um, hi, I just want to ask you a question. Did you, are you a, are you a convert to Islam or were you born into the religion? I was born in Islam. And you're Sunni, right? Hi. Yeah. What about the one at the top? Ali Yol, Islam. He was born into Islam as well. Yeah, and he's Sunni. Oh, he's Sunni, yes, is it there? Yeah, I spoke to him before. <laughs> So, um, so we're kind of stuck here at a at a part where I I think that you you shouldn't put on on God what you think He would or would not do if He's if this isn't something that He doesn't say for Himself. I mean that's usually what the the thinking of in the Sunni Islam is is that we affirm what Allah says about Himself and nothing else. You know you don't say anything that Allah doesn't say of, yeah. uh, about Himself, right? So if Allah doesn't tell you that this is something that he would never do, then you shouldn't say that either. Well, Allah says that he's all powerful okay. and someone who's all powerful wouldn't be murdered by his own creation. Uh, again, a someone who's all powerful can still be all powerful while giving his life for his creation and then raising that life back up again. Someone who's all powerful can do that, right? Oh, I mean, did he like? Would you, you say he now? wanted to be? Yeah, we would you, you say that he on. wanted? Answer. Would you say that he wanted to be murdered? And would you say that he wanted to be, when yes. they were driving like his nails onto the cross? Would yes. you say he wanted that? Yes, it says that I came to give my life as a ransom for many. He says that I came, uh, I, I, and no one takes my life from me, but I lay it down myself. I have authority to lay it down. Did he have a and choice? I also have authority to pick it back up again. I mean, I don't, really so, I don't know what's like, so funny. I don't know what's so funny, though. I don't know what you think. I'm not, I'm not really laughing. It's just were you, were, uh, were, did you laugh? Occasion. Did you laugh? I'm not. Okay, I don't know why you're coming on to me. I'm not like laughing. I'm not coming on to you, but I don't see what's so funny. It's, 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 it's all good. Come on. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not attacking you. It's just I don't know what's so funny. Because if it was the other way around, there's a double standard, right? All right, what do you mean? Because I won't let people disrespect my Lord and Savior. Oh wow. Okay. Um wouldn't you do the same for Muhammad? So let's what focus. Do you mean? Yo, 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 let's focus, man. Come on. Let's focus. Let's focus. Like if, if there's a chuckle here, laughter here, we're not afraid. I'm just trying to have a like I'm just trying to be cool. Like, I don't know why you're let's, getting let's, on let's, to me. So so did you hear what I said? So Jesus says that this is literally what he came to do and that he's the one who lays down his life. And that he's the one who takes it back up again, that no one takes it from him. He has authority to lay it down and authority to pick it back up again. This is what Jesus says. Well, I mean, if that's what you believe, I guess, but that's just obviously, we obviously have a choice to pick what faith. And my idea of my, like Allah, my idea is that he wouldn't be killed by his own creation with, again, without a choice. He wouldn't be. He Where wouldn't he, die he, for his creation. You said other he than his choice, he, right? You said outside of his choice, right? Yeah. So if he chose to do that, he can, right? That's the thing. Why would, like, it's not, it's not about mean, the why right now? It's not about the why right now, sis. It's not about right. the why right now. If okay. he wanted, if he chose to do that, he could, right? Sorry. If, if he, he chose to do that, he could, right? Well, that's the thing. Like, why would he? The, the why's are important. Yeah, but he's. We're not on the why right now, as as he said. We're just what? Would he do it? That's no, that's no, the only question. If he, if he, like if he could, sorry, I mean, sorry, God can do right. anything. So technically, yeah, yeah. yes, but yeah, it's sure. not like logical. Wait, you said yes, he could if he wanted to. Technically, if, that's the thing. Like, what I'm saying is, if a god was created, God has always been there. Why would he disappear? Again, no. Wait, wait. There's a lot of assumptions here that we're going to work out, but let's go step by step, okay? So we agree, just confirm for me a yes or no. We agree that if God wanted to, by his choice, he could take on a human flesh, give his life on behalf of humans, and raise that life back up again. He could do that if he wanted to, right? Well, that's just not my idea of what god would do and obviously i believe in the I'm not asking so. if what i'm uh, why what why is what is so hard about this i'm not asking you what you think he would do i'm asking you do you think he could do this 
Well, that's the thing. It's not in his nature, so he wouldn't. And obviously, you can do anything. <laughs> to be honest, I don't Avery. think I'm like okay, knowledge. Maybe, 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 maybe it's logic, logic, logic. Okay, okay. Do you want to? Do you want to say I've got a British time, accent. I've got a British accent. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm British. So maybe you might understand my 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 <laughs> way of speaking. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Could could God come down in human flesh? Yes or no? If he has the ability to, yeah. There you go. Maybe she doesn't yeah, understand the point. Wait, if he has it's not in his nature. I keep I saying it's that 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 accent, Avery. Really? Hi, I wanna. Uh, hi, I wanna ask your question. So we, so we don't waste our time. I'm saying it's not in his nature. I've answered the question. It's not in his nature. I just wanna ask your question. So we don't waste our time. I mean, I'm not knowledgeable, knowledgeable enough to be honest. Like, I can't. When you bring up a verse, I just have no. I don't even know why I do because I'm not knowledgeable enough. I'm not. I'm still learning about my own religion. Do you know what I mean? And yes. can, I, can I just ask a question? Can I ask a question real quick? I just want to yeah. ask: Are you open-minded, or are you just like? Of course, I'm open-minded. Okay, perfect. That's why I'm... So we're not wasting time here. Yeah. So, no. so what I've just what I've just got from you, Sister High, is that you you're not knowledgeable. Or whatever. So I'll tell you why. Even if you said I don't know why I joined this live. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you might not believe this, but I'll tell you why. It's because God led you here to learn something that maybe might bring you to him. Um, and you ask him the why. Logic, would I be able to explain to her why? Is that is that all right with you? Go ahead. I, I just want to go through it slowly. I, I want to get to the why eventually, but I just want to make sure we're on the same page that he can. So she admits that he can, right? Yeah, yeah, she I'm not, no, okay, can I say, can I make something very you, clear? You see, okay. you see Let me just say like something, one thing. He can do anything, but it's not in his nature to do that thing, so no, he would not do it. That's okay. it. That's all well, I'm saying. So, and I've answered the question. That's all I've got from? to say. Where do you where do you get this from? See, that that's why we're here. From, because like, of my idea of how... She, she, she acknowledges that, that, yes, he could, but it's not in his nature, so he wouldn't. Like, wh where do you get this from that it's not in his nature to do this? From, obviously... Like, this is what I'm saying. I'm not knowledgeable enough to bring up a verse. That's the thing. So, obviously, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, where do you, if you don't get it from a verse, where do you get this from? That's the thing is, saying. in the Bible, it doesn't even say that, like, oh, I'm a God, follow me. So, yes, how, do you know, how do you know about the Bible, but you don't even know about your own book? I'm not saying I don't even know about I'm my not own book. I'm saying that I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable you know, hi, the, the, the thing to, is, hi, 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 hi. The thing, your sister, hi. The thing is, is that the Bible, in the Bible, Jesus does claim to be God, and he does say, follow me. So that is an untrue statement that you just made there. Sorry? The, in the Bible, Jesus does follow. claim to be God, and he does say, follow me. So that is an untrue statement that you just made. Well, if that's how you interpret it, fine. But okay, no, 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 it's not how I interpret thing. it. It's I'm probably a gonna fact. Go because, like I said, I'm not knowledgeable enough. I should probably learn about more. About no, 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 no. You can stay. You but, can stay. Like I'm saying, no, I'm not. Listen. All I'm saying is, like, you guys keep asking me, can he do it? Would he do it? What I'm saying is, is that he's, it's not in his nature, so he wouldn't do it. And if you're asking me, how do I, where do I get that from? I'm from simple definition of a god. Someone who's all powerful, all knowing, all this, he wouldn't be murdered by his own creation. Okay, that's all I've got to say. Thank you Logic. for your time. Logic, wait, hold on one second, sister. God bless you, sister. God bless uh, you. She has no basis for her belief. She just assumes things without without anything, you know? Without yeah. any substance. Look, I, and I want everyone that's in here, we have about 500 people in here, and especially the Muslims that's listening. When you guys come up on this stage, okay? When you come up on this stage, and I, I will talk to anyone on whatever level you're on, whatever level you're on, but just know that when you come up here, maybe the better approach is to say, listen, is to ask the question, but, and not make claims, just ask, like, can God do this? You know, don't say that he couldn't, or it's not in his nature to, because I'm going to ask you where you get this from. I'm going to ask you. And then when it comes out that you have no basis for that, then you should be honest and let it go. You should be honest and be like, you know what? I have nowhere where I'm getting this from. I made it up myself. Therefore, I should let it go.